There have been at least nine mass shootings in the state of Georgia this year. According to the Gun Violence Archive, they define a mass shooting as at least four people having been shot in one incident. As our Erica Murphy reports tonight, many law enforcement agencies are keenly aware of this and prepare for that threat year round. According to that same archive in 2023, over 30 people have been hurt in mass shootings in Georgia. Another six have been killed. Today, Gwinnett County law enforcement agencies are coming together to make sure that when serious emergencies happen here, they're well prepared to handle the situation. Practice makes perfect for these law enforcement agencies and today's active shooter training is part of the practice plan. So this is a continuation of our ongoing training for the court operations division. So all throughout the year, we've been doing these exercises to help us respond to a threat of an active shooter at the Gwinnett Justice and Administration Center. Over 100 people, including volunteers, met up Saturday morning to simulate an active shooter scenario at the Gwinnett Justice and Administration Center in Lawrenceville. You got to realize in a real life scenario, chaos is going to be everywhere. You're going to have people that's going to be injured. But it's important for law enforcement officers to respond in a coordinated manner. This training happens several times each year in the county, and leaders say it makes a big difference when they're called out to actual emergencies. What we want the public to know is this training, it saves lives. So the same way that you go and respond to a courtroom is the same way that you're going to go in and respond to a domestic situation, any type of arguments. God forbid a shooting at a school or, you know, a hospital or whatever the case may be. This training saves lives because we make it as realistic as possible. The active shooter training started at 7 a.m. Saturday morning and was slated to wrap up by noon. Gwinnett Sheriff, Police, Fire and Rescue, Lawrenceville Police and Gwinnett College Police were just some of the agencies that participated. Reporting from Lawrenceville, Erica Murphy, 11 Alive News.